which actually General Bipin Rawal started. Last month, I was in Lucknow uh, at my regimental center celebrating the platinum jubilee of our regiment. General Bipin and me were from the same regiment. And someone inquired uh, from me uh, the reasons behind my successful military career. I told him that three of my predecessors in the battalion who were extremely competent officers, they led they laid the benchmarks of professional excellence and I just followed that particular line. General Bipin Rawat and myself, we are from the same regiment but different battalions. I followed him as the second chief of defense staff of the armed forces. Here again, my job was made slightly easier. Uh, he had set the initial set of reforms to be undertaken that were actually shown by him. It helped me convert his thoughts and ideas into firm policies and lay down achievable milestones. The reforms that we are ushering today are a continuation of the process that actually was started by General Bipin Rawat at the first CDS of the country. But if I look back slightly in time, probably it was the government of India who took the first step for path of these reforms when they announced by creating this post of CDS and carving out a Department of Military Affairs. It was a bold and a major decision and can be said to be the starting point of the reforms that are being attempted now. The creation of the post of CDS and carving out of this Department of Military Affairs has propelled the three services to work together. The synergy between the three services, I can say today, has been more than ever before. The spirit of creating something new uh, is there and there is a change mindset. I believe all of this will propel us to the next generation of reforms. I think the armed forces today are at the cusp of this major change and transformation.